Okay, and welcome back. I'm going to explain how to find the perpendicular line to a given equation. So, perpendicular basically means this. Let's say you have a line 1. And for it to be perpendicular to line 2 means that slope 1 times slope 2 you'll get negative 1. So an example would be here. So this side is line 1 and this side's line 2. So let's say you have a slope of 1 half. Well the negative reciprocal would be, well first of all the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. So you can write that as 2 over 1. So multiply 2 over 1 times negative and you get negative 2 over 1 so just negative 2. So that means that this slope right here is perpendicular to this slope here. And if you multiply the 2 you get a negative 1. Another example, let's say you have negative 3 sevenths. So for a slope of negative 3 sevenths to line 1, for it to be perpendicular to line 2, the slope itself would have to be multiplied times negative 1 and taken the reciprocal of. So in this case here, negative 3 sevenths will become a positive 7 thirds, and hence will become perpendicular to an equation with the slope of negative 3 sevenths. So in this case here, negative 3 sevenths is perpendicular to 7 thirds. Okay, so let's say we have a point 5, negative 3. And an equation, 8x plus 6y is equal to 17. So what we want to do first is isolate the y by putting this into y equal mx plus b format. So we'll have to subtract 8x and move it to the other side. So I'll get 6y is equal to, and it's customary to write the x term first. So negative 8x plus 17. Then divide by 6, and that isolates the y and you get y is equal to, and you can simplify negative 8 6 to negative 4 thirds by dividing by 2, top and bottom. Now, x plus 17 sixths. Okay, so the slope here is going to be 4 thirds, but when we make the new line, we need this equation to be perpendicular to the other line. So that means this slope here has to be perpendicular to the other slope. So what we do is we multiply it times negative 1 and take the reciprocal of it. So if we multiply negative 4 thirds times a negative 1, we'll get 4 thirds. And if we take the reciprocal of it, we'll get 3 fourths. So that means our slope, 2, is going to be 3 fourths. And in this case here, we can call this M1, which is this slope here. And to do the check, so here would be a check. M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. So negative 4 thirds times 3 fourths. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And 3 times 4 is 12. And that checks out. Okay. So what we're going to do now is use the point-slope equation. First of all, let me clear some of this stuff out. Let's label this x1, y1, and write down our point-slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1. And let's go ahead and put our arrows where we're going to change these variables to numbers. Bring down our y, bring down our minus sign. y1 here is negative 3. So we'll write that in negative 3. Bring down our equals. And m, instead of using the slope from this equation, we're going to use the negative reciprocal. And in this case here, it makes this new equation perpendicular to this equation here. So let me go ahead and label this as line 1. And when we're done, we're going to end up with line 2. 
and now we go ahead and plug that three-fourths in. And just to double check, you see, negative four-thirds, so the new negative reciprocal is three-fourths. Okay, so bring down our x, bring down our minus sign, and our x1 is going to be this number here, five. Okay, so y minus negative three, well these cancel out and become positive, so it's y plus three is equal to, distribute the three-fourths, and you get three-fourths x minus three-fourths times five is fifteen-fourths. All I did is I multiplied five times three. And now we're going to subtract three from both sides, so that way we write this in y equal mx plus b format. So by subtracting three, you'll end up with y equals three-fourths x minus 15 over 4 minus 3. However, we need this 3 to be a fraction with a denominator of 4, so that way it's easily added to this negative 15 here. Since 4 is the denominator of this fraction, we'll go ahead and multiply this times 4 over 4, which is just a clever way of writing 1. So 3 times 4 is 12, which makes this negative 15 fourths plus a negative 12 fourths. So our final answer is going to be y is equal to 3 fourths x minus 27 fourths. See what I did here was negative 15 plus a negative 12 makes a negative 27. Okay, so this would be the equation you're looking for. Now you can say that line 1 up here is perpendicular to line 2. Hence, line 1 is perpendicular to line 2. You don't need to write this in. Just by boxing this in right here would give you the points you need for that test. So, anyway, I hope this helped and be sure to look for some of the other videos that I do on perpendicular and parallel lines. Good luck on your tests and homework in the future, and thank you for watching.